What's going on, everybody? Hope you are all well on this uh, hot summer's evening. Maybe this is the worst time to play a 2D Souls-like, but I'm I'm committed, everybody. I'm committed. All right, what are we doing today? We are taking a first look at Blasphemous 2. We are playing on Nintendo Switch. Full disclosure, code for the game is provided by the publisher. But please keep in mind, this is not paid content, and the publisher has no control over my critical opinion of the game. All right, let's jump right into this. Um... We covered Blasphemous one years ago. I think I covered that on PS4. Uh, I always say like indie games like this fit better on the Switch. I don't think I had a Switch back then, so that's why I chose to cover it on PS4. Video should be up of that everywhere. Uh, maybe don't go watch it because there could have been a lot of deaths and uh, you know so on and all that. Um, so yeah, if you don't know what um, Blasphemous is, uh, this is a sequel. Their last game hmm, was it four years ago? Three, four? three four years ago by the game kitchen i think this is only like their fourth game so you know uh you might think oh they haven't got a lot of experience or anything like that but uh the first blasphemous was critically acclaimed 2d metroidvania souls like okay that's a lot of number that was a lot of names and stuff but like uh so you know souls like think of um symphony of the night metroid you know castlevania so it's a souls like like that because the map and everything and then it's it's got um like elements of Dark Souls, but 2D Dark Souls. Uh, so yeah, it's a sequel to that. Is like very similar art style, similar, uh, you know, bosses, gameplay, everything. Um, like the big changes you should know off the bat. I've played like a little bit off stream. Is like the controls feel a little bit smoother. Maybe the last game felt a little bit tight. Uh, and I hear it's a little bit easier. Um, uh, maybe I shouldn't go in admitting this off of fun. I, uh, Blasphemous 1 was a little bit difficult, man. We play a lot of Souls games here, but, like, I don't know. I don't... I've never gotten well with 2D Souls-like games. And I love Souls games. I don't know what it is. I was just... Maybe it's, um... You know, in a 3D environment, there's a little bit more jank and you can get away by cheesing the game a little bit. Uh, with, like, 2D Souls, like, that's very hard, right? And then with their last game, because the inputs were, like, a little bit stiff, it just made it a little bit more difficult. So I loved everything about the last game, but, like, it was too hard. Uh, anyway, all right, whatever. Like, you know, half the people tuned off of this video. And I'm like, oh, my God, God, they can't complain about difficulty. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, the 2D Metroidvania Souls, like, uh, you, you know, and let's just... Let's just get into it. Let's play and, you know, give some opinions on it in the end. Again, short video will be up on YouTube. Longer video will be up on Twitch. Uh, did I say Team 17 published joint of, like, Worms fame? Uh, I think they published the last one as well. So if we quickly go into options here, see what's in here. Very light on options. Not much here. Uh, audio language, damage feedback. Uh, you know, you could change your controls. Uh, what we got here? Map, move, jump, attack. Uh, dash special nothing crazy i'm not using the joy cons i'm using a pro controller here because i'm not a, you know philistine uh accessibility what we got near rumble screen shake and then audio i've turned the sound effects and the music a little bit down because typical souls like game there's dialogue and you know you want to be able to hear it so yeah that's why it. it's very light on uh settings all right so if we just go in let's pick a save file um yeah let's just let's play you know in the heart everything takes root in solidarity uh wait some, something 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 dep depressing something something so yeah this but uh, it's art style and everything is very like dark and grim and it borrows a lot the from christianity catholicism um that's where it gets a lot of its roots from I should not talk over this. Each was born to put an end to the other. Now both await. But while yours slumbers, mine remains vigilant. So it looks like it's the same the protagonist. Why I don't know if it's the same person story wise if it continues. Uh you know, same dude with the hat and everything. Um again, because I didn't I finish Blasphemous I One, I'm not really too sure about the story wise. For our long -awaited meeting. I don't think you have need need to have played the Wounded first game. By the silence of this
I wish I still had my PS4 unpacked. It's in a box somewhere because I wanted to do a more A-B testing. As the city of the blessed name rose up, born on the shoulders of three mighty statues, the resounding beat of a great... Reminded you of something from Elden Ring, maybe, chat? Clouds, thundering like the knell of an unseen church bell, raised higher than any other. Enchanting us all to lift our gaze aloft in an ascetic call to prayer. For the miracle was about to give birth to a child. There he is, pointy hat, dude. So yeah, early on I was saying, oh, this is only like their fourth game, right? So, you know, but don't, don't let that turn you off. Like I said, Blasphemous one was critically acclaimed for the type of game it was, you know, Metroidvania 2D. So I was like, uh, they hit out the park, like shockingly well, like GG to the devs, you know? And again, oh, so this came out about, about two, three weeks ago. We're getting to this a little bit late. Um generally like looking around opinions on this seems to be like oh yeah it's you know good like the first one uh press x to consume one of your bio flask and recover vitality these flasks are refilled by kneeling before uh pre do is that right is that you say uh remind you of anything okay so left right go right here uh so the way this game starts off is uh you can pick a weapon if we go here uh you, all right you got so you got jump you got attack uh you got a dash remind you very symphony of the night style you know like this um and you got a parry oh interesting so hold on i'll explain that in a second Uh, and then uh, you could pick free like weapon archetypes here. Um, oh, I just wasted a Eastus. Uh, so if you press up here, like this is your like Dex build, right? Very nimble. Uh, the difference here is if I so I got a parry with this weapon, that's why I went O oh. with this weapon here. I didn't realize that uh, you don't have a parry. It buffs your attack even more so. so obviously, this is your heavy build. Um, oh, that's interesting, actually. Uh, and parrying with this weapon doesn't... So, obviously, you got your uh, red health bar. Your blue is, like, your magic bar. But parrying doesn't take up magic here. There's no, like, um, Sakuro style, you know, roll stamina thing. So, yeah, each hit on this one uses up your magic bar. Interesting. Uh, that's probably not the build I'm going to go with. It's too slow for me. And you got like your mid build, right? You know, it hits a little bit heavier. Um, still has the parry. Uh, not as nimble as your, you know, uh, full dex build. Um, so here you got the dash. Uh, with this weapon here, off of the dash, you can do an attack. Uh, so that's probably the weapon we're going. Uh, just like a little dummy here. You can you can test your attacks with uh, that let's just quickly show this off uh, you get loads of abilities later on and everything as well this is just the beginning of the game I could show off everything here play style wise I think this is the new weapon right you got your jump in attack uh, all right, let's go here. Uh, yeah, we don't get any magics right now to test. I'll show you. Probably get in about 20 minutes. I'll show you it. Uh, thou hast chosen thine companion on this pilgrimage only. Okay, so old English, by the way. So if I butcher reading as it is before, it's going to be even more so now. But you can't blame me. It's the game's fault. Um, only the miracle knows when thou shalt meet again in the presence of her two sisters. Okay.
I wonder if you get to like change weapons and stuff like that on the fly. I'm not sure. Or is it just like souls like is making you commit to a weapon in the beginning? All right, let's go. Uh, there's your map. Uh, what's this? Add marker, remove marker. Go forward. It's like next five minutes is the tutorial. So let's just quickly get through it. So uh, I'm assuming we get a double jump. Uh, you can like hang off ledges. Gives me a very um, flashback vibe. It doesn't play stiff or anything like that. Down jump, like jump through, uh, through floors, dash to get underneath those. Climb, you can quick slide off ladders like that. Uh, you know, and like in all Metroidvanias, you're going to be looking at a lot of your map to see those secrets. Uh, and here's your your safe you like your your fire your bonfire uh resting before uh, pre do pride you pre do i'm butchering this uh well i'm just gonna call it bonfire now well. uh will restore your health and flask it is the only way to save your progress upon dying you will uh reappear at the last uh pride do you visit it at and all the progress you have made since that point will be lost Kneel before one whenever you can but to basically save it. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Everything makes sense. Game doesn't mess around because uh, it's going to jump you straight into a little mini boss fight. Where's their face gone? Faceless one. All right. It was like one or two deaths, okay, but I was testing audio, so uh, I'm sorry. I know you don't think better to see the deaths and all that, but. And there's your parry. You're just showing off right now. There you go. Are you like me now? I'm not going to parry for the rest of the game. That makes up for all of it. Once you get the pattern down for this this boss, it's easy. But like I'm just saying, I lost like once. So you know. Oops! Had to parry that. It's not meant to, I don't think this one's meant to be difficult. It's just introducing you to the game and everything, right? It's only got two patterns. You can't get past this, then you're going to struggle. Again, art style is so great. Other than the face mask. I didn't feel it in the last game. Still not feeling it here. It's creepy. You have acquired Mark of Martyrdom. Okay. Whatever that means. Uh, right. Um, okay. Uh oh. Another boss fight? Me lady, hello. Oh, I think I saw this art in the trailer, okay. Who this? Penitent one. Oh. Returned from the tomb and walking among the mourners. Your awakening is now written on the eternal pages. Anunthiada is my name, and uh, I hail said that again? from the heavenly mountains on high, the seat and the beginning of all that is holy, so that I may address you. Okay, hello, An Anunth, Anunth. Okay, I'm Look not upon say. me thus as a preceptor in this enterprise, hailing from the highest of all seats. 
Why we got to call it an enterprise though? Makes it seem real, you know. Penitent one, the miracle shall give birth to a new child in a great heart descended from the clouds that watches over the ancient city of the blessed name from on high. You must reach it to stop its birth. I gotta stop a baby being born? All right, okay. on this ascending path of penitence, the arch confraternity awaits you. Those penitents that the miracle itself took as its sentinels now await your arrival. Again, borrows a lot from Catholicism. I wonder if it's referring to the birth of baby Jesus or something. I don't know. Orospina, the confraternity of embroiderers. Okay, I'm assuming these are bosses. Benedicta of the confraternity of endless. Terrible origin. names. Something confraternity Odom as well. Of the confraternity of salt. Lesmes. There's gonna be a lot of salt in this stream. Of incorruptible flesh. All under the dictate of the oldest penitent, the first among them all, who was Eviterno, father of the penitents. Penitent one, the miracle has instilled three regrets in the consciences of three of its guardians. Only by revealing them shall you achieve the humiliation of the sculpted figures that hold up the city. Allowing you to ascend to its upper reaches and finally to the great heart. Look for the guardians. Okay, look for guardians. Uh, something's going on. Ravine of high, st ravine of high stone. Uh, all right, left stick, move map around. Right stick, pull them back to zoom map in and out. Assuming that's where I gotta go. Center back exit. I got it. Only by revealing the regrets guarded by the three guardians can you ascend to its upper reaches and at last hasten towards the great heart. Only by revealing. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. okay. Oh, that I don't know why I tried that. That was the dumbest thing ever. You don't hear NPCs. What am I doing? Okay, no, it, did, it didn't do anything. Locked out there. Uh, so I'm, wait, what? And Cantello are the uh, fastest weapons in your arsenal. Okay, that's the name of the weapons. Okay, forge with the intention of being wielded by experts from the school of the experts. Chat, by the way, push Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, who's swift and accurate? thrust blended with their defensive mastery adherence to the teachings of this school can transport the wielder to ecstasy oh no it's basically telling us yo if you like to parry maybe i picked the wrong one oh wait ice thrust okay parry oh no i don't like to parry i was just i was just showing off on the first boss okay I don't like this. This classes as your role, you might as well say, right? Uh, I don't know if it's got iframes and stuff. We'll find out. Yeah, I don't know if I'm misremembering. I remember the last game feeling way stiffer. Uh, what's this? You have acquired something, something, something. Uh, attacking and executing enemies fills your fever bar, which enables you to perform varied and powerful priors, prayers, or even. Okay, you you can equip them in your inventory. Is the text? I swear. Uh, versus versus press A to. Res to recite a quick prayer chance combine down and a to invoke a powerful prayer uh okay hey oh maybe i got equipped it hold on 
uh all right what we got in the menu hold on so select is literally just map and what's this okay you can add different types of markers if you want all right got it uh okay oh interesting wait have we had a metroidvania before that let you mark the map i can't think of one let me turn on my legend all right okay so that's just map all right and then star is you got your prayer book go back to the main menu new settings dependent on one sorrows uh okay oh so we got free weapon slot so maybe we can change weapons something in the middle i don't know what that is uh quick versus uh oh so you can so if we put that on can i not put this on quick that can only be put on thank you chat appreciate it uh Sorry, my Twitch chat is looking out for me. Um, I think you can only put this on chance. Okay. So, would it say down on... All right, there you go. It does that. Okay, nice. And it used half of our blue bar. All right, got it. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm good at parrying. All right, so we definitely get a double jump. Like, that's classic. We get a double jump. Uh, okay, so there's a way down here. Oh, okay, so you can't double jump through that. Wait, can I use my... Nope, can't burn through it. Oh my god. All right, chill, chill. All right, okay, you got to be full attention all the time or that could happen. What's this? Okay, health. Uh, little baby angel, angel, baby, baby, whatever. Making sure this audio isn't too loud. Oh, what is that? All right, so there's something we're collecting in the top right. Again, I can't remember anything from the first game. It's been so long. Um, souls? Money? Something? Uh, City of Blessings. Up here. Okay, another double jump. Something we can't get. Or we can't get to. Can I speak to anybody here? I gotta stop attacking everybody like an idiot. Okay, got a save point. Okay, so resting at a save point doesn't restore your mana. Oh, we can go up in here. Hello. All right, not gonna attack. Welcome not gonna to attack. my most humble of workshops, which is a flurry of sawdust, glue, and varnish. Montagnes. Sounds comfy. Master sculptor. One of those who, with steady hand and silver chisel, patiently carve out from the wood the faithful shapes of our true saints, so that they might be contemplated and revered by the devout. 
I don't know about revered, man. At least the bad things. But can you make a statue of me? No trace of light remains in my glassy eyes. Yet still I know what thou seekest and needest. For are we not all penitents on this earth? In he just some way. Did he just call me out saying, I know you want a statue? The miracle I take about it. And is he blind? As my profession was that of a master sculptor, I should carve in wood the figure of the most blessed lady as my last. Word. Oh, he's carving out a sculpture of blessed lady. Okay, go ahead. Don't let me interrupt you. Go for Penitent it. Penitent one, I beg you, help me in this, my final piece of work. I'm down. Seek out for the finest chisels and tools. Got it. Say no more. The most wondrous of pigments and the most delicate of varnishes. And I can sculpt for thee figures that will fit into the altarpiece you carry on your back. Like this very one I offer to thee here. Please accept this as a gesture of my unending gratitude. Uh, you have acquired the traitor? It is, but the first piece of many more I shall carve for you. Now I shall place it upon the altarpiece upon your back, and you will feel its grace, but also its burden. The hands of the miracle will guide me in the carving in accordance with the memory you bring me. May they guide thee as they guide me, penitent one. Uh, altar piece of favors. Visit the sculptor sculptor's workshop whenever you want to equip figures in your altar piece of favors. Each figure con confers powerful benefits onto the penitent penitent one and can react in mysterious ways when placed next to others in the altar piece you can increase the number of slots in your altar piece of favors in exchange for marks of martyrdom okay uh open altar piece of favors increase altar piece capacity hand over tool hand over mem all right Uh, open ultra piece of favors. Uh, empty. Okay, so this is first slot. This is second slot. Okay. And then... Wait, didn't he just give us something? Hold on. Nothing here, nothing here. Nothing, nothing. Oh, hello, this. Increases physical damage inflicted all right we'll take that by 10 percent hello okay so these are just basically permanent buffs all right got it got it and then increase our piece capacity do you want to increase upgrade the where did we get that from was that from killing the boss i can't remember now i know because maybe we use it for something else i hope we don't lose it on death may the hands of the miracle guide thee penitent one All right. Have you got any Frey, else for me? How can I assist thee, penitent one? May the hands of the Sorry chat, we're just trying to get through the intro of this game as quick as possible. I don't want this intro to go on for too long. Uh so if you have questions about the game, let me know. Cuz you know me, me getting distracted. And I want to show off as much as I, I can at the beginning of this game. Uh, nice carpet. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, uh, oh, that is some good art right there, man. Wow. Okay. This heavy curtain that separates sin and confession, crime and judgment. Conceals not but shadows. That is creepy. Here in my darkness, 
There remaineth but tears for me and forgiveness for those of you who seek it. I can barely hear you, mate. Where are the bereaved now? Where are the repentant? How long since the long agony of this sacrament began? Now that your penance of silence and the pain that plagues your flesh has led you to my dark confession, let me purge the guilt you bear and thus alleviate your burden. Penitent one, return when the guilt scorches your brow. I will free you from your burden, for that is my purpose. Okay, what burden? Penitent one, return when the guilt. I will free you. Uh, is he gonna. Wait, can I kill NPCs and maybe he uh, forgives me? Sorry, chat, I promise I'm not ignoring you. I'm just. Uh, we just booted up the game, so I'm. Full concentration. Uh, that's creepy. All right, we're going right down. Hold on. Press minus to open the map. Remember to place markers whenever you find something interesting. Uh oh. Um. All right, so for big, like important NPCs, is already marking, right? So we don't have to. Okay. All right, no alternate path at the moment. Uh oh. All right. Okay. Can I somehow? Should I die on purpose so uh, we can see how the mechanic? I don't want to do it, chat. Like, we gotta know, okay? But. use it but whatever nope all right uh left or right left or right left or right okay give me a save point here can you see the night vibes that was dumb oh my god that was even worse Got him. Hold on. Oh, okay. This is what we're. Oh, it's a dead end. It's a trick. It's a double jump section. All right, get out of here. Okay, run, 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 run. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. No. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That looks worrisome. What's in here? Um. Okay. Okay. Sleep, my child. Sleep. Uh, wait, why is there? A Hold on. I'm seeing extra hands. What's going on here? Two, three. There's kids, four. Why is there two extra hands on her head? Oh, wait, there's a room we missed. Hold on. Hold on. Please give me a safe point. Me a game. Oh, come on. Got it. Okay. Save point. Save point. Oh, it's like it took his time loading. I was like, oh no, is there a boss fight? What is this? Oh uh, wait, am I? Did we have a bone arrow in the last game? I can't remember. Maybe I should have watched my own footage of the first. Of the first game. Okay, right, now I'm ready. Hello? Hello? Oh, it was a boss fight. Are we doing a no hit run out here? What's going on? It's not really a boss fight, but you know, I want to call it that too. Uh oh. Who are you? Mind your business. Whose face and name you keep hidden. No, your name is of no consequence if your footsteps have led you to me. Yerma is mine own. But this is not the right moment, for the steps that my promise inspires are swift, and the will that directs them unshakable. We can have better names out here, I'm just saying though. Maybe something that was easier to pronounce. This hatred, which blinds my reason with shadows. I must leave at once. You have acquired stealing battle lands? Hold on. Weapon memories you have you now have access to weapon memory section in your inventory. Use mark mark of martyrdom to acquire advanced combat techniques. Track down bear uh, bearer penitence to unlock techniques that are even more powerful. Okay. Hold on. We unlock something. Quest I um Still battle lance the tip on an object of uh, worship that was turned into a weapon. Ha! Huh. I wonder if this is gonna hold on. Is delivered a violent end to countless enemies. I wonder if this is a reference to you know Jesus cross the spear the tip. I just watched the new Indiana Jones movie. I didn't know that was a thing. So I'm just assume, like that's is on my mind recently. So maybe that. And the memories of those uh, deaths that linger on its strength resi resides in the arsenal of penitence in which it can be awakened. Uh, more lore? Then, oh, there is more lore. Wow. Okay. Chunky bit of lore. Hold on. Uh, I don't really read the lore stuff on, like, in Souls games, especially in stream. It just takes forever. So I just do a quick bit of this and then. The night was dark, full of mist. Yerma saw her chance to climb in through an open window, breaking into the old church that discreetly oversaw a far corner of the village. A perfect night for her purpose. With cat-like agility, she climbed down a sculpture on the inner 
uh, facade until reaching the cold marble floor. I, well, I wouldn't give a cold marble floor right now. Nobody saw or heard her. She stepped into the uh, temple's blackness, her eyes piercing ever sh uh, every shadow in search of her objects. Uh, and there it was on top of an altar at the end of the nave a silver rod an old sacred relic that had remained intact no, 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 no. all right we got it okay do you get the idea uh again i didn't mean blah 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 because i don't care it's just uh it's not the best use of our time to read all the lore stuff oh so can you okay you can only see them you can't equip them uh Relics, okay. Quest items, prayers. What's this? Weapon memories. Uh, followed by Y to perform a lunge attack, okay. Instantly adapt to blocking stance, cross guard. Okay. And then. Uh, use the cross guard at the last moment to counter attack with a lightning quick attack. So parry first. And okay, so parry and then attack. I'm not good at parrying. Oh, no, I might have hit the wrong weapon. Unlock the first. Vidara. Okay, I'm not going to pronounce these. Names. Hitting enemies with something, something increases your adding lightning damage to your attack. Getting hit uh, depletes your indicators. I mean, add lightning. That's all I heard. And that sounds pog. Press R that to unleash a barrage of thrust. Ooh, that sounds good as well. No, we want lightning. Uh, oh, but it's that same thing. It's that same currency that would have gave me an extra statue slot. Okay, so that seems like the limited currency. But we want that, definitely. Uh, how do I use it? Uh, game options, controls, change weapon. Okay, so you can change weapon on the fly. Dash, special. Uh, X. Okay. No, that's use vessel. Prayer, jump, attack, move. Is it just auto applied? Oh my god, the debate was real. <gasps> okay. New ability gained. Some surfaces can be used to climb. Hold down ZR to cling onto those surfaces and uh, not slip. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh... All right, hold on. A dash, parry. We can't change weapon yet. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, hold on. So let's keep attacking and let's see if we get that. I wasn't paying attention. What button did it say to cling? Oh, okay. You have acquired sacred lead. What's this? Getting so much stuff. Equip rosary beads in your inventory to upgrade characteristics of the parent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads. So this is from the last game, if I remember correctly. A okay, rosary beads. Uh, sacred lead da, 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 slightly increases resistance to all physical damage. All right, I'll take that. Thank you very much. You don't have tummy twice. All right, is that everything? Okay. Nice. All right, so maybe in some of those sections you don't get double jump. It was actually. Oh, 
Wait, where am I? Uh, hold on, so I fell down there. Is there any way to... Huh, maybe I get some dash or something? Okay, can't get there. memory like a fish i literally can't even remember what it was oh that was uh okay so maybe we get like a bow and arrow that shoots light or something all right so was there any ladder stuff like there. Okay, where we dropped down there. Remember there was a way we could climb? Okay. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Let's go here first. Oh, no. That was... That was... Wait, did she say anything else? No answer. Huh. I wonder if those are just random NPCs are there or you come back to them later and they give you more story lore. That seemed like that room to seem way too like detailed just to be a random. Uh oh. Oh, that's how you get. Okay, okay. So if you don't get attacked, electricity. Okay, hold on to that. It doesn't let you climb, it just lets you cling. Oh, that's cool. Because pro streamer is not getting hit anyway. What's this? Marks of martyrdom. Attacking and executing enemies allows you to earn marks of martyrdom, which can be used to upgrade certain characters. Penta only. You can earn marks of martyrdom by fighting, exploring. Oh, interesting. That's how you get them. You have acquired a mark of martyrdom. Oh, interesting. So they're not like, oh, special. You can only get them from bosses, whatever. Just random enemies drop them. Ew, interesting. Okay, so you can climb back up here. <gasps> Wasn't there like a vessel up there? Hold on. Wait, so this is the actual way to come way. What is over there then? Check every nook and cranny. Remember there was like a dead end, right? That we couldn't get to. Yeah, I don't know what they changed here. I can't put my finger on it. It feels way more playable than the last game, man. The last game felt like... I mean, unless somebody's going to argue, your gaming skills increased in the last four years. Uh, I, I want to say it felt more stiff. Okay, chill out. All right, with this weapon, I've got to learn to not dash. I've got to learn to last second parry. Because you can do it mid attack. So it's probably the way to play this weapon.
You have acquired sculptures and gravel. Small square hammer skill sculptures use tools to similar this. However, it is it's supposed not to conclude that any artist using such small mallet must have. Okay, so we give that back to this. Oh, picture. Sculptor, even. Uh, okay. I don't want to. Can I? I don't want to go down. Hold on. Save point. Give me a save point. Give me a save point. Give me a save. <gasps> you have acquired something, 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 something. Oh, okay. So what is this? Takes the pen and one back to city of ble blessed name. Wait, but why would you equip that as your quick? Wait, I don't understand. Hold on, I'm not understanding this menu. So is there like special? Oh, you know, I'm just an idiot. I can't. So maybe all the ones you get on the left in the left boxes are what you can equip into. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm just, I'm just dumb. Okay. Press up for the lift to go down. Huh? That makes sense. Oh, what's this? Boat section, Dark Souls 2, you have acquired forgotten tribute. Why? Uh, a coin that was used for many years as a payment for the processions that traveled the roads at night. These processions gravel died out. So finding a coin like this is okay. So this is an item that lets me, you know, like Dark Souls 2 go in the carriage or something. Can I play Dark Souls 2? That's a spoiler. I'm sorry. Oopsie. All right. So there's nothing really to mark here. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, okay. Oh no. Ah, did you wait with real? Boy, you could trick me. Oh, there's another one. Dying. Oh my god, the little chips are real. What did I actually get though? You have acquired empty. A glass vessel able to contain the blood of. Blood flowing from the crimson flesh touched by the miracle used to increase the number of. Bath. Oh, hello. I got more flash now? Should I give it to somebody or do I just use it? Chunky bit of lore. Okay. Again, is it indie game though? I always say, like I said, for Mass Effect, I can't remember what we covered last week, right? I wish games with like those big lore drops that would just start reading them out to you. In a cool voice. Uh, city of Blessed Night. All right, so we're back at the city. Uh, first of all, can we use our new ability to... Oh, we can. Hello, hello, hello. Take full damage in this. Okay, maybe we can get up there. Hold on. We'll definitely get some kind of running. We make it. No. Uh, 
Uh, aqueduct of something, something, something. I wonder what these bells do. Wait, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. Like, can we jump? No down jump? No down jump video game? Oh, so okay, we get wall jumps in this. Clearly. Before we go there, hold on. Let's give that the guy the hammer. If this doesn't turn to NPC, I'll be shocked. All right, let's save. That mate got a hammer for you. Pray. How can I assist the penitent one? Um, hand over tool. Okay. This mallet is so wonderfully balanced in the hand that it feels quite effortless to move. Know that you have my gratitude. You're welcome. Uh. Hold on, open alt piece of favors. Do we get like I mean I just gave you a new tube, bro. Are you gonna Nothing? May the hands of the miracle guide pray. Yeah, you literally said to me, give me maybe I come back later? May the hand Maybe is uh, should we try to exit coming back into the game? Shall we try? Oh, should we try? I'm kind of curious though. Hold on. The wood is taking shape. I sense how its veins nourish a body that seeks to be wounded with my chisels and hammers, that yearns for the cuts and indentations that will free it from its coarse origins. We don't get people who like their craft like this guy used to any anymore. Uh, all right, now have you got anything new for us? All right, so we got new text from him. May the hands. I gotta know. I gotta know. We're playing a Souls game here. I have to know. Let's just quickly save it. All right, let's do the classic. You know, exit, come back. Pray. No. All right, I did it so you won't have to. Uh, this is probably a perfect place as well. We've been playing for like almost uh, an hour. Um, what we do here for the YouTube video, uh, we cut here and we jump back in a little bit later on to the game. So we get a, uh, some more abilities and everything. Um, so yeah, you know what uh, what the game turns into later on. And then we'll give some final thoughts. If you want to watch that full video, it'll be uh, up over on Twitch. Uh, so come check us out. We'll be right back. Uh oh. Oh, yes. Is that a weapon? Let's go. Uh, Verta is the most powerful weapon in your arsenal. It's long reach, wide arc, and devastating strength increases the chance of stunning your enemies. In addition, it's Attack will generate additional f fever favor with each strike and can be empowered by flame of okay Hold down why Activate why did they give us this information hold on 
your arsenal has increased tap l to change weapon you can rearrange the order like when we first selected that like it should have gave us this information then all right this game has better pacing than the first game i felt like i hit a brick wall way way sooner in the first game than i did here when i say brick wall i mean skill brick wall maybe i just got better games in the last four years i doubt it i've always been good at games everybody knows that right R right chat Oh, okay. I'll get our double jump. You died too often already, which is blatantly chat's fault. Blatantly. Oh, 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 oh. It's all making sense now. We have the power to save the Gunaks. Oh, God. Okay. By the power of grace, go! Oh, I have the power. Would have probably been a better reference to make because everybody would have understood that. Man, this game's got good music. I can't remember. In <gasps> uh, that's not good. I can't remember enjoying the music of the first game that much, or again, four years. It's genuinely surprising. Again, this is the dev's fourth game. We've been doing this long enough, or we, we know four games in, man. You're still learning your craft. That's good shit. I goes, I do new game plus on Blasphemous One. Hell no. Oh, 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 stop. Hold on. I mean. Come again. Come again. It's been a year and a bit. I'm still trying to finish Elden Ring. Oh, that's damage. And that's something we literally have to finish before the DLC comes out. Dude, why? Why, Chad? Why? Well, at least they're one shot dead. Come on. Oh, messed that up. I zigged when I should have zagged.
face a boss fight, I swear. It's an escalator level. I feel like I'm playing Streets of Rage. All right, I haven't seen that in a Metroidvania before. Gonna hurt. You son of a gun. Do I get squashed? Do I have to? Do I have to? no? Huh, that's interesting the way they did. I wonder if you pick this weapon first Like if these puzzles change dynamically like the way this is happening is, is like oh it kind of doesn't want you to pick the hammer first Because you have to go to all the way to the left Hold on if I let me just explain Because you you get the hammer here and all the puzzles that are related to here are the hammer but you have to get the hammer first for these puzzles to activate. So I wonder if they, or I wonder if is if you pick the hammer first, then the weapon here would be different. And then I don't know. Just thinking out loud. Maybe these puzzles would be different. Teleport! Teleport! Please be teleport. Sorry, I'm too excited. I'm just screaming at everybody's ear. If there's a boss fight, I'm gonna be. Yay! I love this game. Thank God for that, man. Have a good teleport. All right, got it. Oh, creepy NPC. Find sisters. Oh, okay. Speaking of the nun. God, I'm so glad this time. I was gonna say getting around is a little bit annoying so far. How did I forget these games have I got you, cheese. Got you, cheese. Suck it, nerd. I can feel it. This is the one. No, I got too confident. I told you, chat. I said I could feel it. This is the one. This was the one. It's really something so satisfying about breaking these vials.
Alright, is that the last? Is that last one? I mean, I should, I should warp back. Where's the warp now? Whatever. We're not going to warp back. Imagine warping back though. Oh, wait, no, that's a friend. Here our wills cross once again. Oh, nameless penitent one. For a long time now. My life has been naught but a constant struggle to fulfill a promise as old as these lands. To like and subscribe? Is it your wish to meet her? Penitent one, can you not hear it? We find ourselves in the confines of one of the ill-fated forms of the miracle that yearns to meet thee. Uh oh, I hope I didn't mess this up. I thought if I would have said yes, it's going to take me straight to the boss room. I hope it gives me the option again. Do you wish me to join you in your next confrontation? Hard mode. No. Then I shall continue my s until our next meeting. Oh, no, 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 mistakes. Okay, I was going to do it so solo anyway because Souls player and we're toxic as hell. The first one might have been story related. Oh, no. I just thought the first one was automatically going to take me into the boss room. Billowing clouds of dust herald your arrival. Dust in the air that is born from the erosion of the walls, the statues, and our own bones. These stones heard so many sins that they could do no more than succumb, shuddering before their guilty echoes. Echoes that could not bear the seclusion that I imposed upon them. And that escaped from me. Man out here in the cave of wonders giving me speeches. Uh, hurry up, boy. Crawling I... along these walls. Eroding them until their immaculate ashes buried us all. Penitent one, you will now reveal your sin. All right, bro, bro. I had to. That was just. Okay, I got it. Chill out. See what is. Oh, I wonder if I could par parry that. The wrong button to parry, by the way. Something, something, something happened. I have no idea. Da, da, da. Ha, Damn it. There goes girls not useful anyway. So basically, you're not giving me props for doing it solo. 
obviously Twitch chats savage out here. Obviously, obviously. You can't even play hard mode without getting any respect these days. No. Oh no, I was so close. I got greedy. Why did I do that? I got him. I got him. I told I got it, chat. I got it. Simple. I got the puzzle. I got it. Bro, that was so dumb. Why did I do that, chat? I was just like. That is me. We got this. No, it's done. It's done. It's done. I got this. It's done. It's done. It's got this. I got this. <sighs> All right. I did a speedrunning video for uh, one of the bosses in um, Armored Core the other day. I have to do it here as well. Oh, how did I get hit? That was greedy. What I do? Got him. Told you next one was it, chat. Get wrecked. No, I think you know what my um my mess why I messed up on this game with the last two hours is I didn't commit to the weapon I used. Because I already was like, yo, we do dex builds and I like to play fun and fast. And I was just like using that big slow weapon as a crutch. This is weapons way easier. And uh parrying is not that hard in this game. Like, you know, I famously say all the time. Oh man, I'm not the parry guy. Hold on, all right. Text. I'm gonna get some final thoughts here. Oh, it's not text? Hold on. Bit of story. Oh, that's not. The, uh, that's not creepy. Wait, what do I do here? Oh, up. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Radames. Spent my long life listening to the confessions of so many burdened hearts. Even after death, I could still hear the echo of their mournful voices, begging to be heard again, pleading for confession. But their pain never managed to bring tears to my eyes. One of those echoes, those incessant voices, was the very voice of the miracle who commanded me to guard its sacred regret. I obeyed, 
And it was then that my tears did flow. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. Uh oh. It's a the love story. Of him still hurts. So it was that a humble married couple, torn apart by their inability to conceive a child, entrusted themselves in their utter desperation to the miracle. A miracle whose light seemed to have gone out in all our hearts. For having long ceased to bathe us in its benevolent radiance, we believed it extinct. Man, if you throw in some next level shade on God here, chat. Already puts out its celestial light, causing my eyelids to droop. Um, I wonder if Atheus made this game. Let the miracle cast open its black gates, so I might venture to where that terrible dream from which one never wakes. You don't need to be so down. Right, let's get this little story bit and uh, this somewhere to put. Oh, wait, hold on. Finally, got some new major ability. Press A. I don't know what that does. Penitent one, you have encountered one of the three regrets. The first part of the testimony of the birth has been revealed to you, and the eminent sculptor figure of the father has descended. Find the other two guardians. How long have we been playing for? We've been playing for like five, five and a half hours, stopping, starting, talking to chat and everything. Um so my thoughts on this, I I think I'm enjoying this more than the first game. Uh, so it feels smoother to me than the first. It's been a while since I played the first game. From what I remember the first game, though, I feel like the platforming and the gameplay and the way it moves, there's just something that is smoother. I can't put my fingers on what, but it plays better for me. I felt like the first game, you have to commit much more to everything as well. So one, it plays better. Two, uh, I, I know a lot. It depends where you fall on this, though. Uh, it feels a little bit easier than the first game, or maybe it starts a little bit easier than the first game. But honestly, I think I prefer that as well. Like, I like my Souls games with Souls Nuts here. I don't know if I've ever gotten to the hardcore 2D, like, obviously it's a Metroidvania, but it does bar a lot of that difficulty from the Souls games, right? Uh, so, like, when I say Souls game, I'm mainly using that as, like, a difficulty barometer, because, again, it is a Metroidvania way more than it's a Souls game, but, like, a lot of people play Metrovanias now, and I don't want you to come into this game thinking, oh, yeah, it's cool, you know, Ori and the Blind Forest or Nintendo Metrovania. You know, when we say Metroid uh, Souls game here onto this, it has a level of difficulty. It doesn't have the level of difficulty of the first one, but it still has a level of difficulty. We spent like an hour on that last boss. Um, so just so you know what you're getting into, because you might say, you know, cool art style and graphics, and I like the story, but like, you know, this level of difficulty of a game is for a certain type of player right so you should know that going in it is and again it is easier than the first one i think i prefer that is or like if the difficulty ramps up uh i prefer it this way because you're getting into the game and you're learning the game better where in like the first blasphemous it was just like right off the bat you know you're bashing your head against the wall um but another thing i'm noticing there, i think i'm preferring the music a, a lot more in this one as well i'm really enjoying the music in this yeah so like difficulty they've toned down a little bit gameplay it feels a little bit better here it still like has a lot of the art style of the first one so uh i think i'm preferring uh this one way more than the second one uh yeah nice fun I, i'm a fun if you like a difficult difficult is that a word a more difficult metroidvania um uh, really enjoying this um i'm just trying to think uh anything else i can like say about this uh like maybe oh so this is what i could probably say if comparing this because i've seen a lot of conversation on 
uh, like first and the second one, if you really did come for this for the hardcore difficulty and everything, maybe if you're comparing this to the first and the second one and you prefer a difficult game, you might prefer one over this. Uh, but that's only going to be for the real, 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 real hardcore, you know? Um, I think I'm... I think for ninety nine point percent of players, this is a better game. I like the improvements that they did. Is uh, it still retains that difficulty and you know the type of game it is, but it's just more like everybody could kind of get into it, you know. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That was a first look at Blasphemous Two. Once again, we're playing on Nintendo Switch. Uh, keep in mind, uh, code for the game was provided by the publisher. Uh, shorter video will go up on YouTube, longer video will go up on uh, Twitch. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. For, for the first one, for the second one, uh, we did do a first look of the first one. I think there's a long video up on Twitch and YouTube, so if you're interested, maybe I'll put that in the description. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, uh, depending on where you're watching, follow, subscribe, and don't forget to turn those notification bells on so you don't know when new videos drop. Other than that, I think we're gonna call it with this one. Thanks for tuning in, much love. Peace.